Let's talk about Triple IT Amendment Bill. What are the highlights and what are the specific things that we need to know? Now, the first important thing that we need to understand is under this bill, you have five institutions that would now be institutes of national importance and two main acts have been amended under it and those are the amendment to the Indian Institute Information Technology Act 2014 and then amendment to the Triple IT Bill for the Act 2017. As per the amendment, you would have the word elected, which would be replaced by the word nominated at two of the places. And then these are the five institutes which would now be under a PPP mode, that is a public-private partnership mode. So all these five institutes based in Surat, Gujarat, Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh, Bhagalpur, Bihar, Agartala, Tripura and Raichur, Karnataka would be part of the PPP model. They would be given the position as as the institute of national importance and again uh, along with these five the 15 previous triple IITs would now be the institutes of national importance working under a PPP model and they would now be able to use the nomenclature of BTEC and MTEC or PhD so they would be granted permissions to assign degrees and those would be uh, the BTEC, MTEC and PhD program. Also, it would enable institutes to attract more and more research into the country as you would have more IT establishments coming in. So far, all of these five institutes were part of the Society's uh, Registration Act 1860 and as per that act, these institutes were not allowed to grant degrees or diplomas. Now they would have the ability to grant degrees and diplomas and they would also be part of the uh, National Institute of uh, the Institutes of National Importance and therefore these five new triple IT's become very very important for your examination point of view and you must remember those.